Downtown Orlando is becoming a building boom town. The city seeing a surge in new construction. A lot of it is new residential towers, but is downtown ready for an influx of new residents? New 6 investigator Eric Sandoval dug into this. Get this, the city of Orlando tells me 18,000 people already call downtown home. By the time this next round of construction is done, that number is expected to jump significantly. And the city says they are working fast to keep up. Turn any corner in downtown Orlando and you can't miss the construction crews building yet another residential high rise. It just invigorates a downtown because it brings people here 24 7, 365. Thomas Chapman is the executive director for the city of Orlando's downtown development board. He says the reason for all of this new residential construction boils down to simple economics. He says 93% of the existing downtown condos and apartments are occupied. And even with an average rent of nearly $1,700, the city is still feeling the demand for more. We want to walk with downtown, we want grocery stores, we want movie theaters, we want restaurants, we want park, we want open spaces. We searched city records and we found that there are five major high-rise projects under construction in the downtown area right now, which will add more than 2,300 more units. But take a look at this. There are 10 more projects on the drawing board, which, if approved, could add more than 2,700 more units. Those proposals include the Magnolia, which would be built here at the corner of Magnolia and Robinson, and Zoy House, a condo hotel combination, which would be built on this lot across from the Orange County Courthouse. But there are growing pains before those even break ground. For example, there's only one grocery store in downtown, the Publix near Lake Eola. But Chapman says look for that to change. He wouldn't reveal the specifics, but he tells New Six something may be headed to the north quarter of downtown. That area, I think, is our IPE, right, for, um, uh, for more uh, amenities. And, and, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if, if that's where you see uh, the next grocery store go. I definitely think it's way too much uh, too soon. David Brandt lives next to another proposed project. Developers want to build a senior living high rise on this narrow section of land on Jackson Street. But Brand says he and many of his neighbors say it would be too close to their building. All of the garbage and refuse services are going to be directly below the balconies. It's going to be very disruptive, very noisy at all times of the day. They've even launched an online petition urging the city of Orlando to say no. Now, the city of Orlando actually gave the green light to that senior living facility earlier this month. Coming up in 2021, we're going to be watching to see what other developments are approved. And if the demand is still there, even during a pandemic. In downtown Orlando, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6. So Eric put together a list of all the current residential projects underway downtown, as well as the ones that are on the drawing board. He posted it on our website, clickorlando.com. Just click on the Investigators tab.